If you've never read Hemingway, you should probably read Hemingway, but even if you have, you might not know that he supposedly started the six word story challenge. He once bet his friends he could write an entire story in just six words. But how could he introduce characters, develop relationships, and give them a story arc in just six words? Well, this is his story. For sale, baby shoes, never worn. It's powerful, right? It's a story so compelling, he gets us to write it ourselves in our own heads. And this is the power of constraints. Hey everyone, I'm Kirby, this is Kirby Meets Audio, and today we're gonna talk a little bit about goals, constraints, and how they can help your creative projects. Over the last few weeks, I've been making a series of videos on how to design a speaker. We started from scratch, and through that process, we came up with the KMA Duo Kit that we finally built last week. I break my speaker design process up into six steps. There's planning goals and constraints, driver and component selection, enclosure design, crossover design, enclosure construction, and finally, measurement tests and crossover tweaks. Through that whole process, one thing stays relatively consistent, your goals and constraints list. There's a reason why writing these down are part of the first step in the design. They're a guide to help keep you on your creative path. At first you might think having goals makes sense, but why constraints? Wouldn't that limit creativity? Imagine your next speaker design or any creative project as an open field. Right now, all you have is your destination, your finished speakers, somewhere over the horizon. But you can't see it. You have an idea of maybe the direction you wanna start walking in, but all you have is this huge field and a hundred different directions you can continue walking in. With the ability to start in any direction, you can be somewhat paralyzed with indecision. At the very least, it's gonna take a lot of time to think through as many possible directions as you can. Think of goals and constraints in this scenario as landmarks, guiding you in the direction you should go and the areas you should stay away from. But the best part of constraints is sometimes you come up to one along the correct path and you have no option but to somehow get past it. This is where creativity really lives getting to your destination while having to think up new ways around those constraints you never could have imagined before you started the project. I believe this is where pretty much anything new comes from. Now the next question I would be asking is why? Why can't we be more creative with more options? That would make sense, right? Uh, and that comes down to analysis paralysis, a cognitive situation we all get caught in. It's one reason why big companies like Apple have limited options of their products and why I think a lot of people struggle in creative projects. Grace Hawthorne, a professor at Stanford, teamed up with behavioral scientist Alan Reese to figure out a way to measure creativity in the brain. While in an MRI, participants were asked to draw pictures based on action words like vote, exhaust, and salute. The action words were ranked by most difficult by the participants and the drawings were judged by outside students for creativity. Essentially, the study found that the less the participants thought about what they were drawing, think of this as guidance along the path, uh, the more creative their drawings were. So what does this all mean? Well, today we have more access than ever to information and inspiration for our creative projects, which is amazing and a miracle of modern times, but it can also be to our detriment. The point is, don't let the paradox of choice keep you from starting something you want to do. Uh, whether that's to start your own side business or build a set of DIY speakers. Just start with step one, make a plan, and include a goals and constraints list. If a pair of speakers is your next project, click right up here to get started with step one. If you're interested in building a pair of your own speakers, head over to kmakekits.com where you can find free build plans as well as complete build kits for purchase. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up. <laughs> if you hated it, hit the thumbs down. Just make your feelings known. If you're new here and you like this video, please hit that subscription button and then hit that little bell if you want updates on when I upload videos. I also have a Patreon where fans like you help me make videos like this one. If you wanna see the behind the scenes of making these videos or my speaker building or just my life in general, uh, follow me on Instagram. Uh, just search Kirby Meets Audio or there's a link down in the description. All right, I appreciate you guys. Appreciate you guys. <laughs> appreciate you guys watching. Um, this is a little fun, just video. I don't know. I, it's something I think about a lot, uh, and I've been thinking about a lot uh, with this whole design series thing I'm doing. So, just thought I'd share.
All right, see you guys next week or later this week. We'll see you there. Bye.